Hello, welcome to Laura's Painted Minis. I'm Laura, um, and today we've got the new mic. Um, I actually was able to set it up so it's below the camera, because um, that's just what was going to work out best so it wasn't in the way of everything else. Um, and I did do some testing before, yesterday when I finally got the, the screw adapter. So I do believe you should be able to hear me a lot better, maybe at least even clearer uh, than in, uh, with the other mic. Which is good because this is a lot more expensive than the other mic. So I was hoping it would be better. So tonight we are gonna work on the wood. I'm planning on basically kind of making a little piece lightly weathered. It's just base coated in walnut brown and I'm gonna use some driftwood brown as well. I painted the shields all the one color just because it was gonna be easier than trying to go in between each uh, I forget what they're called. The metals, the metal parts that, the parts that I'm going to paint metal. So yeah, we'll get to mixing up some stuff. Also means you can probably hear sound effects a lot more. What have y'all been up to? You gotten any? Anyone gotten any painting done? As you can see, I got the fur finished up. I believe I only got uh, up to the midtone put on the on the last stream. I'm considering putting a bit more shadow or darker shadows in just to kind of really make the highlight and whatnot kind of a bit punchier, so to speak.
Right, I'm just trying to get mixes to where I want colors, where I want them and whatnot. Kind of started off a lot darker than I meant to. I wasn't really meaning to mix up the sh a shadow color. I meant to get something a little bit higher up in value. I don't want to get too bright or too light in color. I'm good with that. I might not use that really dark color, but at least it'll be there if we, if I feel I need another dark color or to bring back in some shadows if I lose that. I guess there are some spots here I forgot that need some touch, touch ups. Te technically not the the original base coat color. It'll work. Over here also. Okay, maybe that's a lot more different than I thought it was. I'm going to go ahead and use this dark color, actually. I think it does, actually. Is different enough that I think it can be useful. And there, I will be trying to stick to what's sculpted here. We got, there's some actual sculpted wood grain and dents. I think you can see it. I think you can see it. You can probably see it on camera. At least some of it is showing up on camera. Are people keeping up with the Olympic Games? I know that's been going on. I've never really kept up with it a ton before. 
I mean, I listen to the news and so I hear about it. But yeah, I've never like gotten super into like trying to watch all of the stuff. With being more into soccer and watching soccer the last several years and having like YouTube TV where I can kind of record things or whatever. So in a way I can push pause on it. Um, that's definitely nice. So I was, uh, watched, I've watched some parts here and there of some of the men's and women's soccer games. It is exciting to see the both the men's and women's actually do pretty well in soccer. Um, I don't know if that means maybe some other countries will be taken more seriously. Um, as a soccer team, or as soccer teams. I'm sure that's a hope by the, the players. Hello, is it Kisas? Is that how you say your, your name? Yeah, this is a pretty cool mini. I'm 
I'm just working on painting up this wood box or I forget what it's called.
Well, I'll probably have to get a small brush for doing the wood and, and these shields. They're pretty small. I probably will only really be able to do like a small amount of wood texture on them. I'm going to just focus on the, the bigger parts for tonight, since I have my other colors mixed up. I might as well be able to make it so that I can actually use them all tonight. So as I get to the brighter and brighter, or rather lighter and lighter colors, I'm going to um, focus more on where light will actually hit the wood. Um, And I also still want my brush strokes to actually show though, too. So I'm also gonna try and put them in different spots. Or at least have the previous color still uh, showing. I will say it's showing up a lot more on screen, on camera, than in person.
I was hoping I can get this mammoth mini done pretty quickly. I don't plan to do very many colors. No. I'm going to try and keep it pretty simple just for that reason to try and get this done quick so that I can have it um, for some one shots. Kind of just adding in some wood texture here. It's entirely possible that like this part could have been painted more like leather because it's pretty it's sculpted as pretty smooth so it, and I could see how maybe that wouldn't be too odd if these are like actually different parts from from this box thing this box mount but I don't know much about that stuff I do add any other color in here other than like what I'm gonna have for silver and leather it'll be for this it's like a little tufted uh, I don't know tuft tufted is the right word but it's a little seat and it's got um, kind of a pattern you can kind of see it Uh, I probably would maybe bring in, like if I do do something like that, I'll probably bring in the red that I used on the other Ninja min Minis that I did earlier.
since uh, they will all be used in the same encounter. Excuse me. Um, so it's a good way to make sure they all blend together or can look good together. I think we'll see after I finish you with this color, but this might be the highest I go. I'm not sure I want to go much higher than this. But we'll see once it dries and see if maybe it doesn't look as light. There's going to be some shiny metal around it here and here, so I don't want to go too bright with it. And also with Ixes, I am also going, trying to go for like weathered wood. I want to put this here. I'm focusing kind of more on where the, the planks meet each other. Because uh, that's where it will get weathered. Water will collect. Any ridges are going to be standing out to the sun more so. So it's just how wood weathers. And then I am just going to focus on the edge. That's where this uh, railing, I guess it'd be kind of a railing of sorts.
and I know that I've been talking about getting this done for my one shots, but I am still open for commissions. Um, I would prioritize those and just kind of maybe be okay with these not getting fully painted in time. So I do plan to run the one shots um, again. They have enough things different about them that um, there's enough things that involve roles that there could be different scenarios that come up each time it's played. Uh, so, which is part of the reasons that I really liked and en really liked it and ended up buying it. It's a pre it was a pre-made one shot on roof rune foundry. I kind of like how that looks. It looks weathered, but it's still pretty dark. Let's see where we are with time. We still got some time left. Can give a try at these little shields here. I'm going to get out my small brush. My tiny brush. Um, but you can you can just I'll put my socials up. You can kind of if you are wanting to commission something from me, you can message me through any of those uh, socials. Uh, and then there's also the Fiverr link, which has some kind of pre-made gigs that you can check out and see what my prices are like, as well as a uh, time frame. Got, I've got three different gigs on Fiverr. Um, Basically one gig for like medium or smaller minis, another gig for like large minis, so like giants, then another gig for like huge, huge or larger, so like dragons basically. Um, and then I have like different, I show kind of different pricings just based on how what level of a paint job you want I've only been painting for a few years, so I did kind of, from what I'm aware of, from other painters, and even, even just from my understandings too of, from when I tried to sell canvas paintings, I'm pricing it kind of low or it is on the lower end. I know for some people, it probably still seems pretty expensive. I feel like you get that all the time with art of people not realizing. All the work that goes into it. And 
being really shocked by the prices. These shields, sorry, I'm off screen. These shields are so small, I do not think I can, even with this tiny brush, like, you're really not going to see much. I mean, if you think about it, you know, humans can be, you know, this tall-ish compared you think about what you would be able to actually see as far as detail and realistically, I mean, you're not going to see the wood grain on these realistically. There'll be some highlights. And that's it. And right now these are not like necessarily showing up all that great. But I'm not too worried about it. There's really only enough room to kind of just do some touches of highlights. And I'm not trying to win any like competitions with this, so. Since it is since it is for me, me being the DM, I'm gonna say it's okay. It doesn't matter. It would be different if this was like for someone else. I'd talk to them about it probably before I would. Or I would at least like paint it up and show them. If they like specifically ask me to get in, like add in wood texture, even in these teeny tiny parts, I probably would um, just tell them that that's going to be pretty unrealistic. I can try. I can get out my magnifying visor and I can do it, maybe see a lot better than what I can right now and thus have a little more control with a tiny brush and create wood texture. But it's probably not even going to look like anything if I have to use a magnifying glass and a tiny brush. I don't think the regular human eyes is gonna be able to really be like, oh, hey, look, there's wood grain on, painted on that. That's so cool. And I'm not even bothering with my other colors that I had. I'm just going straight to the color that I used as the highlight. Which is um, the, highest, the highest highlight. So this is just touches of the highest highlight. And I can get away with doing that on, on these um, because there is a bunch of metal around it. So it also means there's going to be a lot more light ref reflecting right next to these pieces. 
or right next to this wood. Still not much. I don't even know if you can see too much of a difference. In all honesty, it might be end up being where I uh where it honestly just doesn't even matter about the wood showing through. It might just end up getting painted in with dark spots of the walnut brown. Or maybe it's driftwood, I don't know. It is going to be hard to get all this metal without hitting, accidentally hitting the wood. I'm not, I'm not the cleanest painter <laughs> when, when it comes to something like that, so... We'll see how that goes. Okay.
Alright. Well, I think we'll stop there for tonight. Since it is almost time. So we got a pretty good chunk of the mini done. Between the fur and the wood. Um, I'm thinking I'll use this mini for this month's Patreon bit video and do, uh, kind of basically show how to do tusks and then, and then similarly probably do some, some of the, the, there's some like toenails, that's for hooves, I don't know if it's what they're called on mammoths. Um, so yeah, I guess I would, was gonna say teeth, but there, you can't really see any teeth on this guy, so it would just be tusks and nails, we'll just say nails, um, they're pretty similar in how I would paint them, so I will probably show both of them, um, uh, so yeah, I don't know if that will be done before the next stream, well, guess we'll find out, <laughs> um, but next stream I will either work on, get started on the, the, all the metal bits or the leather. So, yep, which is kind of the main pieces that are the, the other big pieces to paint on this guy are, is the leather and the metal. The tusks and the, and the toenails really are not that, do not account for very much, but it does give me something uh, a little different to do for my Patreon video, so that's why I'm going to I'm going to save those for, for that. Um, you can go and, um, that is also in the link there, uh, with the social links, my Patreon link. So if you are wanting some access to some tutorials, um, I do like one video a month for the upper two tiers. And then for, there's one lower tier at $4 that has like it's just a PDF once a month that can, that is about the same topic as the video of that month. Um, so yeah, go check it out. Um, if you are interested in that, uh, if you in, are able to put money in, I know that it's still kind of hard, um, but yeah, that helps support me and keeps the stream going so yeah thanks for joining and hope you en enjoyed the painting enjoyed the cats for the cat for while she was sitting there um, and I will see you Monday at 1 15 p.m. have a good weekend bye